Hi everyone, my name is Abbas and I'm reporting for First Updates Now. With me here today, I have Team 14725, Java the Huts from Florida. They're currently the second pick of one of the finalist alliances in the Franklin Division at the Houston World Championship. And so let's get started. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Well, welcome, welcome to the fun. First Updates Now is supported by the Milwaukee School of Engineering. MSOE offers week-long summer camps where high school students get to preview college by living on campus, exploring engineering programs, experimenting in labs, meeting with professors, and participating in fun group activities. Are you ready to experience STEM at MSOE? Visit msoe.edu slash summer to learn more and register. Robbie, you want to give me an overview of your robot and its functionalities? Um, sure. So, as you can see, a robot has suspension. So we use this both to score in the Alliance Shipping Hub and the Shared Shipping Hub. And we can use this to our advantage because this allows us to score shared over the bars. Uh, this is very useful as we are able to block from a lot of other robots and we can't be blocked, more or less. And then on top of that, our robot has a turret system along with an elevator, tilting arm, and pivoting intake. This allows us to be very versatile and uh, basically be the best alliance partner that we can. Sure. And so, you know, obviously robots progress a lot throughout the season. So, Caden, do you want to talk about maybe some of the progressions you guys have had to your suspension design, turret design, anything else on the robot? Yeah, so we've, we've got through many iterations this year. Um, with our suspension, our suspension modules are actually still on version one. Um, the, the only changes we've really made throughout the season are these pocketed plates as well as our friction dampener. So going to our state competition, we realized our suspension is too wobbly. It, it prohibits us from, from scoring and, and dropping the elements into the shipping hub and shared hub uh, easily. So this because, because normal uh, dampeners or shock systems are illegal in FTC, we had to develop our own. So as you can see here, we have a 3D printed piston with a housing. Um, on the piston, we have some rubber O-rings so that the rubber O-rings create a constant force of friction that will dampen the oscillations of the springs. Awesome. All right, and you know, lastly, I'm sure a robot as great as this making it so far into the World Championship has some amazing software, especially driving so consistently, making sure everything's at the right place at the right time. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure, so our main features uh, for programming-wise is our set positions. So we have different positions for traveling over the bars, intaking and outtaking on uh, the respective hubs. Uh, additionally, we have uh, developed a way to control servos on our capping mechanism, uh, like toggle, the, uh, toggle their speed so we can uh, control their sp uh, speed with when they're in normal servo mode and not in continuous rotation mode. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. You're an amazing team. Wish you all the best in Franklin Finals, hopefully making it to Grand Finals at the Houston World Championship. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. First Updates Now is supported by the Milwaukee School of Engineering. MSOE offers week-long summer camps where high school students get to preview college by living on campus, exploring engineering programs, experimenting in labs, meeting with professors, and participating in fun group activities. Are you ready to experience STEM at MSOE? Visit msoe.edu slash summer to learn more and register.